Hello friends, welcome back to Master Class. In this video lecture, I will be reviewing uh, the Dropwax eardrops. So friends, you can see over here the four contents of this Dropwax. I will try to discuss each in detail. And uh, please do subscribe and share our videos. And um, I will let you know about this, uh, how to use and what are the side effects and uh, what are the things that you need to avoid while removing the wax in ears. So it's used only uh, in the ears, not in eyes or uh, mouth. And try to keep it away from the kids. And this comes for the price of uh, 107 rupees. And uh, this drip wax is the, the main uh, reason for using this is to remove the wax from the ears. The well-known brand is Solivax and usually you will get it over the counter or from a chemist shop or online. So now the drip wax has a turpentine oil. Turpentine oil is extracted from the trees and this uh, turpentine oil helps in uh, what you call um, of the lubricating the wax also and even also it helps in dissolving the uh, wax but most important function of this is uh, lubricating the wax chlorbutol acts as an antibiotic or antifungal which helps to kill the bacteria and the fungus because whenever there is a wax there are chances of having fungal and bacterial infections benzocaine helps to relieve the pain Benzocaine helps to relieve the pain. That's very important because there is a sensitive sen sensation is more and it's more painful and especially in the night it causes more severe pain. And uh, it's also very severe when there is a cold. So try to use um, antihistaminics along with that. Now the benzocaine uh, para dichlorobenzene it helps in dissolving the wax because wax is hard uh, rocks like structure in the ear it's a stony so it has to be dissolved and this helps actually how you put you need to put two drops in each ear and but when you try to put in one ear it should be on the upper side and it should be kept for the same position for 5 to 30 minutes 30 minutes would be better and it should be given for nearly one week after that you can take out from uh, take it out from uh, uh, with the help of uh, cloth cotton cloth would be better rather than earbuds uh, it's a safe in kits or some instruments you get do get in online so this is how you have to use it and make sure that if there is a pus in the ear try not to use this because it increases the infection